Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by giving you an update of where we're currently standing in terms of the 2015 legislative session. A little review. At this point, the governor has proposed a $694 million increase in spending for K-12 over the next biennium. Specifically, he has targeted 1% of additional funding on the general ed formula for each of the next two years. Please note that the rate of inflation is running at approximately 1.6%, so the governor's proposal is not even keeping pace with the rate of inflation. The bulk of the dollars that he is allocating towards education, approximately $400 million, goes to a universal pre-K program. While none of us do not believe that pre-K is not important, we are concerned that we're going to be funding a pre-K program at the expense of the rest of the educational program, the rest of the students that we serve. And that's something that we cannot accept. Please understand that we're early in this game. The second shot, so to speak, was fired this week when the House of Representatives came out with their budget targets. The budget target for education was set at an additional $157 million for the next biennium. Please note that it would take approximately $175 million in order to put 1% on the formula each of the next two years as the governor is proposing. So the target that has been set by the House of Representatives cannot even provide an increase of one in one on the formula. And that would be if every dollar of the $157 million was put towards the general education formula. And so we know that they have set a very, very low target for E12 education. The Senate is coming out with their targets as early as Thursday night or Friday. Once those targets have been established, we're going to be providing an action alert to all of you in hopes that over the course of the next week, you'll have an opportunity to contact and interact with your legislators. Please note that the legislature is on spring recess after this week. So they're potentially going to be home in your districts all of next week. A great opportunity for you to interact with them, whether by in person or phone, email, snail mail, whatever needs to be done. We will provide the action alert with some talking points. I want to thank those of you that responded to the action alert that we posted on Wednesday in response to the House of Representatives $157 million target. We asked you to contact the members of the Senate, the leadership, and let them know that we need a large target. We asked for $625 million. That will provide a 3% increase on the formula each of the two years and still provide $100 million for teacher development and evaluation, for special education, for concurrent enrollment, for all different kinds of programs. But we've been continually saying to our legislators, to the governor, to the department, that the number one priority of MASA as defined in our platform is to provide a significant increase in the funding formula. That is truly the gasoline that drives the engine of our schools. And I want to thank those of you that took the opportunity yesterday. And if you've still not done it, you're going to be seeing this video hopefully on Thursday. Please, if you have not contacted members of the Senate, go back to the email that you received yesterday. Contact those people. Let them know that we need a large target because I still think we can impact uh, how that may come out. That's where we're standing. In one respect, I talked to the Speaker of the House today, uh, uh, Speaker uh, Doubt, and we talked about the, the initial target, and he said it's early in the process. And we do understand that it's early in the process. But it's important that our legislators hear from us often, and that the consistent message that MASA members send is that we need to have a significant increase on the formula. With that, I thank you in advance for what you will be doing over the next few weeks in terms of advocating uh, for our schools. We will keep you fully informed as we move forward. If I can be of service to you, please contact me at 651-319-1211. Thank you.